Today, Sioux City Neighborhood Services talking about how the city has helped the homeless community through their programs. All this comes after the warming shelter announced it will definitively be closing its doors on October 1st. KCAU 9 News reporter Alyssa Tatch explains how the city of Sioux City is prepping their resources for the shelter's closure. $4,291,238.02 was spent on rental, rental assistance and direct um, assistance to those experiencing homelessness or near homelessness since January 1. Since the announcement of the warming shelter's closure, Neighborhood Services has been helping the shelter staff find housing options and suitable assistance programs for their current clients. We're in contact with warming shelter staff daily and the, res the current residents there to make sure that um, can work a plan so that they hopefully aren't unhoused, unsheltered once the shelter closes, and if they are, that it would be a very small amount of time. Along with their rental assistance programs, Neighborhood Services is expanding their street outreach program, where city staff goes out on the streets and connects with folks that may not know of the housing services available to them. We have a lot of resources in the city, it's just a matter of connecting people to those resources that we have, and so that's why it's so important to make sure that everyone that is experiencing homelessness has at least made contact with someone in our office so we know where they're at, we know what they need, and we can get them um, connected to those resources. During the press conference, city council members made an effort to note that over the last few years, the city has been working on programs that provide more than temporary shelter. We're not talking about just heads and beds giving people a place to sleep at night. We're talking about concerted effort to manage these individuals and work with them on if they want to become employed if they're looking for a more permanent housing solution, if we can help prevent homelessness by giving them rental assistance or working with landlords to ensure that they're not losing their home and ending up on the streets. 